Are you sick of visiting dusty old museums full of ancient stone what's-its and paintings of dead jerks? Me too. So perhaps you'll find some of the weird relics we've come across a little more interesting. We've got dirty things, disgusting things, and an elusive part of Jesus which is so popular it's even spawned a few fakes. This is our list of the seven strangest historical relics. At number seven, the Lloyds Bank Coprolet. In 1972, the British banking firm Lloyds wanted to build a new bank on a site in York. But during excavations, the workers discovered something long, brown, and hard. What could it possibly be? Ancient pottery? A medieval weapon? Guess again, because when archaeologists turned up to investigate, they identified this mysterious object as the largest example of fossilized human feces ever found on Earth. Wow, that's some historical shit right there. This fossilized poo is seven inches in length and dates back to when York was known as Horvik during a period of settlement by the Vikings. Analysis revealed this relic of ancient antiquated was coiled out 1200 years ago by someone who ate a lot of meat and bread riddled with parasitic worm eggs. Upon its discovery, Andrew Jones, a noted paleoscatologist, which is apparently a real thing, said it was as valuable as the crown jewels and the most exciting piece of excrement I've ever seen. I guess someone's never watched Two Girls, One Cup. The Lloyds Bank Coprolet can be seen on display in York's Horvick Viking Center, and the museum's curators have also managed to analyze and replicate exactly what this old-timey Viking turd would have smelled like, creating a fecal odogram to accompany the exhibit. How thoughtful. At 6, the 16th century robot monk. The title pretty much says it all. Located at the Smithsonian, this mechanical monk was built sometime around 1560, possibly by Spanish clockmaker Juanello Turriano, as a gift for King Philip II, the son of Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. This mecha monk was x-rayed by Dr. David Todd of the National Museum of History and Technology, and it was discovered that the 15-inch tall automaton contains an astonishingly complex set of gears and components. On the rare occasions it is wound up, this clockwork Catholic actually still works. With its right arm beating its chest, its left arm raising a set of rosary beads, and the head capable of individual eye and mouth movements. Thankfully though, nobody ever made the mistake of constructing a clockwork mechanical choir boy to go with it. Number 5. The Holy Prepuce There are many relics supposedly associated with Jesus which are thought to imbibe their owners with magical powers, including bits of wood from his crucifix, a towel he dried his face on, and the holy chalice used during the Last Supper. But by far the weirdest is Jesus Christ's holy foreskin. And arguments over this slice of spiritual schlong have been raging for centuries. The great Charlemagne presented what he thought was the holy foreskin as a gift to Pope Leo III in 800 AD. But throughout the Middle Ages, there may have been as many as 18 different foreskins which were each claimed as a bona fide part of Jesus' boner. The trade and counterfeit son of God foreskins has died down a little recently, which is good because people used to kiss them out of respect and even give them a taste to verify their authenticity. Today, just talking about the holy foreskin can have you excommunicated from the Catholic Church, and the last sighting of one was in 1983 when it was paraded through the Italian town of Calacatta. Sadly, this chunk of Christ cock was stolen by thieves in 1997, so the hunt for the holy foreskin is now well and truly on. 4. The Venus of Holyfells the Venus of Holyfells is the oldest three-dimensional depiction of a human being in existence, and this 40,000-year-old 6-centimeter statuette also tells us a little something about human inclinations. The item was discovered in southwest Germany, 
and its complex design is evidence that humans of the time had already developed the complex prefrontal cortexes necessary to create such depictions. Carved out of mammoth ivory, this figurine was probably worn as a necklace and was meant to act as a totem of fertility, but as you can see, it offers a somewhat unrealistic expectation of what women were supposed to look like. A Paleolithic Lena Dunham would have definitely called out the lack of a head in lieu of gigantic breasts, huge buttocks, and an oversized protruding vulva. Ladies, we men may objectify you quite a lot, demanding that you somehow remain skinny yet also have large T and A, but at least we've never asked you to grow a gigantic thunder bag. Although it's probably only a matter of time before Cosmo does an article on how you too can achieve a six-week summer vulva. In at number three, the Ass Blaster. Okay, that's not its official title, but it definitely should be. In our recent video on strange things people used to believe, we covered the practice of smoke blowing, where Victorian doctors would use a bellows to pump hot tobacco smoke into the anus of drowning victims. It was believed this would resuscitate the dead thanks to the warmth and stimulation, and items like this were hung along the side of the London River Thames in much the same way we hang life buoys today. Just imagine how it must have felt to be dragged out of the water gasping for air, relief washing over you as you struggle to catch your breath, only for some cockney Victorian dude to shove a hot smoking bellows in your corn hole without even buying you dinner first. This particular resuscitator is made of leather and can be found at London's Welcome Collection. And if for some reason you're allowed to get close, I double triple dare you to sniff the tip. Number 2. The Mega Colon Philadelphia, home of the Fresh Prince, Cheese Steaks, the Liberty Bell, and an eight foot long section of human turd chamber known as the Mega Colon. You'll find this exhibit at the Mütter Museum after it was removed from a 29-year-old man suffering from Hirschsprung's disease, which causes you to be born with undeveloped nerve endings in the colon. This meant his colonic muscles weren't able to contract and shift feces through his body, leading him to develop constipation so severe he couldn't poop for 13 years. This stretched his colon to a 27-inch circumference and a weight of 40 pounds acquiring him the name of Balloon Man in the process. But rather than moping about his fate, the Balloon Man used his condition to earn a living as part of a circus freak show. When he finally died, his colon contained three buckets full of excrement, which is still six buckets short of the average Fox News report. And if you ever visit the Muter Museum and you want a little souvenir, don't forget to buy yourself a cute mega colon plushie on your way out. I would name him Anderson Pooper. And at number one, the Pope's Throne. As we come to the end of this list, it occurs to me that every single item we've covered so far has a connection to either religion or butts. So for the final entry, we could either go in a different direction or combine the two. Yeah, let's do the second one and take a long and uncomfortable look at the Pope's Holy Crapper. If you're able to somehow gain access to a tour of the Vatican's VIP-only museums, you'll encounter many strange and interesting objects, one of which is this ancient papal toilet, carved out of high-quality wood with a beautiful ornate design. The Vatican unsurprisingly doesn't go into too much detail about this most holy of thrones, but as you can see, it has no obvious plumbing system in place, meaning that when old-timey popes needed to poop, they had to use a bucket like every other schmuck. I can't figure out why a place as conservative as the Vatican would keep an old papal toilet on display, but maybe it was to prove once and for all the Pope never did go into the woods. So that's our list. Did you think it was pretty weird when you heard about people trying to have a lick of Jesus' foreskin? Then why not wash the taste of that out of your mouth by watching our recent video on the seven strangest religious rituals. We promise there's not a single mention of butts in the entire video.